I've done tobacco all my life. It's a, it's a family tradition. I depend on it. You know, I want to keep my help busy. It's, it's part of their family, part of their life, part of mine too. So. The reason I rip and strip was back in Hurricane Katrina. I was going around the edge of a patch and I got hung up. And I went to walk to get a tractor to pull it out. While I was walking through all the mud at the end of my patch, I thought I've got to do something different, a better way. So I came back and I started no-tilling the next year. And when I started no-tilling in the fall, in September, we had a 40 mile an hour wind and it blew all my no-till tobacco down. So five of us farmers got together at winter and tried to solve our problems. That's how we came up with the rip and strip. The first thing we do on these tobacco patches, this right here was in bean stubble. We do it early. So, and then after we do this, we do about 30 acres of bean stubble to get started in early May. May the 10th, we take our hay binds and our disc mowers. We cut all of our hay down. We rake it, we wrap it, we bell it all up. And then after that part, we'll take a ripper and stripper. We'll go through and rip and strip it, run our motivator over it. We spray it, we set it, we're done. Right now, there's five farmers in this county doing this. And every one of them likes it. I mean, you, you start in the mornings, I can have 20 acres ready to set the biker by dinner, every day.